Oh, hey, Rocket, Groot, sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a... an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am Groot. Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last... human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a das cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it... still... active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, Groot, for... you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am... He says he knows, and he's grateful. Groot has a rich, velvety voice. Good thing we stashed Rocket's stuff in here. That weapons upgrade really saved our butts against Captain Whats's face. Hey, that one's from Lamentis. Does that mean it's a sacred plant? Groot, did you steal a sacred plant from Lamentis? More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Mickey. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. 
I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It's my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. We thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He's a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security, Muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? A what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of a fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Sound down to 
help us! Way to take him to church, man! Guys! That one's mending the rest! Well, that's not fair! Look! The sorcerer heals his ilk! Put a target on him! Without death or pain or fear, because I'm gonna kill him for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the cortex and find Nikki. We're way 
wasting time, Peter. I don't like the sound of that fulfillment thing. Are you good? Scott! Cosmos Tower shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used a backup telepath. If Cosmo is on their side, getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. You just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an accessory stored here. Kind of dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Flark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. The church tailors their offer to the individual. Seems to me most of them would give in. Or they'd be killed. Not an easy choice. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's yeah. moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. <laughs> uh, don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. Not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt him first. says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I had a contact here, rotations ago. You did? Was it Blurf? No, no, no. It's up on Butts, maybe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cat crazy. Yo, We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Hey! Oh! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. 
We're the only ones that can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. <sighs> Look at her. This is personal, Quill. What's taking so long? Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. We're all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls, and the security raids, and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodus about these adventures. And hey, what do we need the Golden Boy for, anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. And I'm not so sure anymore, not after Lamentis. None of this makes any sense, but Mantis gave us somebody who can fight it. Somebody who also makes no sense. Exactly! I think. He can deal with his evil twin. Hear something? Like chanting. No. I could have swore. Oh. Shh. Try not to give ourselves away. Like a dead end. For some more than others. They must have started the fulfillment already. Why? I just figured there'd be more converted around up here. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Wait, how did he move the whole Emporium? It was a ship. Uh, never would've guessed it from the inside. Eh, maybe it's more of a shuttle. <laughs> ah, Groot's right. We're getting distracted. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't ya? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nikki had Warlock's soul stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic.
Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Florican family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Behold the power of her might, Zaya Magnati! Guardians of the galaxy, save the believers and alert the Grand Unifier. The movement must not be stopped. That's it. We finally snap. Gamora, wait for us. Rocket, go so wild. Hit him down, Groot. Not again. That was a uh, weird Gamora. You okay? Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? No, of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Rager brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki. 
and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protective hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The Nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... she loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes. Unleash me onto these fools! Guys! 
What do we do about this big bot? reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. That sure is something. You know, I used to spend a long time staring out at the rift, wondering where I belonged. With us, Rocket. That's where. He's right. Yeah, I know that. Now. everything off because now they expect us we need to find another way to the bridge <laughs> too wide to cross maybe we can bridge the gap we keep saying bridge and it's starting to sound like a made-up word Drax I have been eager to topple something over Gamora? Are you? Ugh, how am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? Really? A faith force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kinda miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. Almost drowning changes a guy. Disconnect the power, Quill. That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. Let's book it. Now is not the time for literature. <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have. Turns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops.
stuff. The coach is choosing his team members. He must know his intent. The sorcerer priest is swaying. We'll tell tale of our battles here! Is that like a Catarthian minstrel? <laughs> Make sure you don't fall off! Make sure those snipers don't hit you either! Hey, Quill! Wanna see some fireworks? <laughs> Running and gunning on rooftops! This is kind of fun! Leapfrog our way back onto the bridge. Leapfrog? It's a... Just follow my lead. My great strength goes underutilized! Stay away from the edges! Look! Golden Boy and Uni Parker are still at it! How about the god stuff was it just talk? I ain't saying I want him to lose, but I wouldn't mind if Raker socked him one. We're sitting ducks! On both counts! Namora! The billboard! Good call! You find more snipers over there! You saved me one! No <laughs> I have vanquished this Dolacore <laughs> traitor! With my fists! <laughs> <laughs> his face. It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rare. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. Better off fighting our way there. Indeed. I would much rather face them with what 
What's so special about Goldie anyway? Yeah, he's strong. But what good is strong against ridiculous, unrelenting firepower? Could you stop a turbulent ocean with your bullets? Yes. One day we must test you here. that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Must suck to be a celestial head just floating around the edge of the universe's stuck toilet, and then parasites move in. We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. Look! Oh, still at oh, oh. least our guy seems to be winning. <laughs> Battle must have been tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep. That's part of nowhere's charm. Ba 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 boom, baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. <sighs> this carnage brings back troubling memories of worlds I destroyed. Always wondered, what did you use to do that? Some kind of mega bombs? Rocket! Blades. My own hands. And feet. Knees. Elbows. Often my forehead. Oh, you gotta be flarkin' kidding me. I don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! You are a valued member of this team, not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. So will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. You will regret it.
dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise, too. That endless hunger. Oh, yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This is not Angela. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed, I promise! Get away from my dog!
fuck are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutts. <laughs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? Is Piotr Kuhn? Cosmo knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo smell? The smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky in cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Doom, how you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, you will not simply return at any time. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. <laughs> if by that you mean I saved your bark, then yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget. What was lost? This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's, it's about, about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, color with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet, you had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo, young, are. They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love? For protection? But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Peter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone. Cosmo not fit your eyes. That's it, buddy. You tell him. Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family. We'll protect the dog cause. Sick him, boy. Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. Think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Fuck! Attacking scratch snatchers. Gah! 
Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those